can the same octane but different brand fuel make a difference in horsepower? Let's find out. Okay, so we have got gas from brand A and gas from brand B. Plus, we also got a little bit of VP race gas just for fun. So let's go on the dyno and find out if there's any horsepower difference between these different brands of fuel of the same octane. Of course, that VP isn't the same octane, it's race gas. This should be fun anyway. Let's right, see what we find out. I had to bring in my ace, Dino Don McCaskill here. What are we gonna do today, Don? Well, you know, we had such a hard time the last time you were here with the fuel, the California fuel, and it's right. not just California. I mean, a lot of folks across the country that we've talked to are having similar problems. We learned our lesson from we last did. time that we're not gonna trust we, pump we, gas we can't. anymore. We just can't trust the pump gas anymore with as bad as it's been. So what we're gonna do from now on is we're gonna get our bait, we're gonna test these other fuels to right. see what the difference is between between the store-bought fuels, and then we're going to make some baseline runs with the C20, and this will be the fuel from now on that we use for all, all the next tests. Exactly, so what we gotta do right now is get the engine warmed up, make our baseline runs from the fuel we ran last time, then compare it to the fuel we normally run, yeah. just to see how much variable there was. We know there's we're a blend. We're scratching our heads. We were, we're we know there's heads. a yeah. difference between winter blend yeah. and summer blend. We've seen that forever, yeah. but we always use fuel from the same location. Right. But it was closed last time. Yeah. So we went somewhere else and we were like, well, how much of that difference did we see was the winter blend versus summer blend? Was there a difference between brand A and brand B? It really, it really brought up a lot of questions which we're gonna try to answer today. Exactly, so questions before, answers today. Stay tuned, Dino Pools are coming up. fuels have both been run same temperature same timing same oil they were the exact same of power they were pretty close to the power which yeah. kind of leads me to believe that maybe they were kind of getting their gas from the same place who knows we know there's no difference in power now between the same octane fuel different brands all that so all both on the same day same say so yeah same yeah. day so summer blend fuels same everything not a problem so now we're making the change though we're going to really try something that the motors really should be able to like we're going to use the vp c20 in here now we're starting off with the exact same timing but we know the characteristics of the fuel that we will be able to bring that timing up a little bit right and, and gain some more power out some more reliable power out all right so what we're going to be doing now is now we get the baseline done we're going to make some timing sweeps essentially mm -hmm. with the vpc 20 because that's going to be our new rubber fuel in the future we won't be and using pump gonna, gas this is what we're going to use from now on right yes. so we got to find out what the happy place is exactly. for that fuel for this engine so first run is going to be at the baseline timing 31 degrees, 31 degrees and then we may move it up from there to find that happy spot and then we'll see settle what the in likes. Yep. And, and once we do that all the testing we're going to do from now on will be at that particular timing with this fuel perfect yes. so all right so get ready get some more temperature here and we'll begin to make those timing sweeps let's do it Water temperature is up a little bit, so we gotta give it a second to bring the water temperature down just a touch. All right, third pull. Let's see what we got. Wow. Okay. Busy day. Busy, very busy day. We got, we did get a lot accomplished, so three different fuels. Right. And we also got something accomplished that we really, really needed to do, considering all the problems that we've had. A lot of you guys understand octane, and you understand mostly what's going on with the fuel. We increased the octane just a little tiny bit. Yeah, from 91 to 95. 91, 95, not, not much. We wanted to try to kind of keep it in the ballpark. And, and because of that, you know, power-wise, the numbers were hugely different. But what we did find out is that we are 
gonna be so much more consistent now yes. with this new C20 fuel that we're using from VP. Right, so the unleaded C20 from VP is in 95 octane, and of course, like you, we noted, just changing the octane of the fuel doesn't mean you're gonna see a power increase, which we really didn't see any really appreciable power gains going from 91 to 95 until we started adjusting the timing. Exactly, exactly. And as we moved the timing from 31 degrees to 33 degrees, we saw a gain, and then we went to 34, Five degrees to see mm -hmm. what it did, and we could even hear it. It wasn't really happy. Yeah, and then the we, dyno we, showed us that it went a little too far, it wasn't which is happy. what the dyno's gonna show us. But that's the whole point of doing it, timing exactly. sweeps. Exactly. So we know that C20, it likes 33 degrees versus the pump gas like 31 degrees for 91 octane. So right. hey, we got a new baseline and now we can go summer, winter. We don't have to worry about the winter, summer blend fuels changing our numbers anymore. Exactly. So. You know, one of the things that we went through last time when we were so flustered by mm -hmm. what was happening uh, a few months ago is that our, our problem, we actually took timing out of the engine and when you take timing out of the engine and you pick up power, yeah. What does that tell you? That tells you yeah. that you've got an issue with the fuel. So that's one of the reasons why we did this, is just th just for the consistency. Did we pick up a little power? Well, yeah, 6,000 RPM, we picked up four or five horsepower. It's not, not, not enough right. to write home about, but what we did pick up was the fact that every time we get this fuel, no matter whether it's gonna be in the summertime or the wintertime, it's gonna be the same. Exactly. And that's what we wanted to do. Yeah, so we've established a new baseline. We've yeah. got the consistency we need. Yep. And the good news for you guys is, brand A to brand B, the power was the exact same. Pretty much the same. Even going to race gas, it was pretty much the same, but we could tune on the timing a little bit. Yeah. It gave us that bigger tuning window, exactly. and that's the benefit of the race gas. Now talk about the temperature. Now we can be a little farther off on the temperature, and we still have that consistency. That was the biggest thing we saw when doing the timing sweeps, is yes. that you're trying to maintain those same temperatures, but you're making runs to increase the temperature of the engine. Exactly. And we saw less change in power with that variation in exactly. temperature with the with VP C20 yeah. versus the pump fuel. So that was another key lesson learned is yep. the consistency of the fuel with temperature makes it where we have that wider tuning window, sure. testing window, so that we have consistent results for you the next time we do a test. Exactly. Thanks for watching, folks.